Welcome to the Empire by this is Rampage, and welcome back to my Byzantine Empire campaign for the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 mod for Attila Total War, where we're going to continue with the stuff from last time with our conquests and restoration of the Roman Empire. Well, again, after we were able to, uh, we were now able to properly switch over to the Byzantine Empire. I almost forgot about doing this last time, but I was able to remember to do this. Because if we go over our little highlight once again, um, before we start things off on like how we're going to be going for today. Last time we were able to get a ceasefire with Georgia and with Antioch, which allowed us to be able to focus all of our attention onto the Latin Empire. So, we have now been able to, for the most part, destroy them. They have like one little army left that I'm going to have to try and deal with, seeing as how, at the moment right now, Constantinople is very, uh... It's under threat because it could be a bit of an issue that right now, until I convert this building, it has no garrison. And so what I'll be doing is I'm going to be moving you guys back as soon as I can. Actually, you can get back over there right now. So you go back over here just to make sure that we have something in Constantinople because right now they could just walk in and attack it and that would be a problem. So we're going to basically be trying to focus on kind of consolidating what we have right now. Um, I do want to try and see uh, what would it take for the research to finish upgrade that. Because I know that'd be down here. Uh, just this. So if I get this research, I know it would be delaying the special units we get from the strongholds, but I do want to get this. As I don't want to, because I could do one of two things. I could demolish this down to the second level, then convert it, and then it'll be fine. Or we just wait the ten turns, I can then convert this as it is, and we'll be able to then... Well, I could technically also convert it into the, the castle tier three, but this takes less time to do the city. So, I think that's fine. So, we'll have you guys get set up around here. Um, I do want to have it so... What I want to do is I also want to have it so the Constantinople... It's such an important city. We're going to make sure that's an area that does have a governor. Because, um, how far away until I... Because I want to... We, we're not going to be able to get to my next Imperium level for a little while, I think. And so I won't have any more um, governors right now. I only have six at the moment. So, I would say, out of all the regions I've got right now... This one's actually doing really well. I think I can actually move your governor. So let's go over to that. That is this guy, technically. So I'm going to technically kick you out of office. Next turn, I'll then try and bring you back into office. Because I think... Yeah, you're, you're going to be waiting for a bit. So I'll, I'll put you back in next turn. And I'll have you be the one. Because, yeah, you guys are still fine. Uh, you guys will be the ones that can watch over Constantinople to try and help that out there. And then... For right now, it's just kind of getting you guys to kind of recover. Um, we are going to be trying to have it, so I think we should try and focus our attention more on to Anatolia again today. Seeing as how, now that we have, we have currently no enemies, besides like, you assholes up here, but I don't really intend to expand up this way right now. I don't want to fight you. And maybe, if I'm lucky enough, these guys will just try and offer me a piece at some point. That'd be great if they would. Other than that right now, uh, building-wise, I think we're fine... I know, like, I'm waiting on you guys to be able to grow a little bit more around here. You guys are doing better, and you're getting close to being able to grow. Because I do need to get some garrisons up here. So, we'll be trying to do that best we can. At least sanitation-wise, you guys are fine. Public order, you're not the best. But I know, like, right now at least, it's the best I can do. We can probably try and get... Cause if I can get the garrison building around here, that will also give me some public order. Because I did the same thing in Synop. So, we'll try and get that over to you guys. Why are you guys upset right now? Religious differences in building levels. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're trying to improve that. So, for right now, at least, I don't really have much to spend money on. Although, I could, like, upgrade this stuff if I really wanted to. More public order and more growth for Constantinople. Not a bad thing, honestly. Also, I think... Did I just see that right? Yeah, that is now bordering me. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I need to get those gar... I need to get that garrison here as soon as possible. Like, where this is growing... This is growing pretty nicely, so hopefully we'll be able to get that. Um, we've been able to resolve our food shortage around there. I like that. Yeah, this guy's ready for duty again. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have you be the governor of... So let's go back over this. So we'll have it so... For East Thracia, yeah. I want to be you again. There we go. So you be the governor of that region once more. Seeing as how I really want to be able to build this area up. Have you guys get the growth and income from commerce. Definitely try and grab that. And then, at the moment right now, yeah, you guys are slowly dying. I'll just be watching over these areas, because, yeah, I'm just chilling in the city, recovering my troops right now. Um, this one I also can't convert right now, too, so I'll have to hold off on that. This is a wheat field that we can convert. Uh, this is a noble uh, Let's see, so this one right now... I'd actually love to keep that if I could. Let's see. We're going to want to definitely get something with public order. Uh, 
more culture from that. Jewelry, artisan, uh, food. How are you guys doing right now for food? You got 40 food. You got 40 food, so we could possibly do that. Uh, silver mine. <laughs> I need to stop recruiting, really having so many of these built up. I think for right now, uh, this one actually... I don't know. Do we want to keep this one here? I kind of feel like I should. I feel like for right now, you... I know we make more from culture anyway, so I kind of want to focus on that. This building right here gives me public order right now, so maybe we should have it so we can get something that gives more public order around here. Ah, oh, I do want to get this too. I do want to get a library. Let's see, that is from Animal Husbandry Buildings. Um, This gives you public order as well. Oh, this is basically the exact same thing as this. Kind of. Uh, we could grab that. Food consumption, commerce buildings. Oh, we do need spies and agents. This gives me more squalor, but... Okay, this is working to bring. Get the tavern. I'm going to demolish this. Uh, that doesn't make me a ton of money right now. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to get some sanitation from that. I do need spies and assassins, so I will get, grab that. And then this will just have to stay as it is for right now. That's okay. Uh, at the moment right now, I think that's okay, because I've got my armies right here watching over these territories. So we can just have it so, like, you guys here... I need you to get more cav again at some point. We can probably go back over here, grab me another random lord just to uh, reinstate a legacy, recruit some cav for me, and then I will bring those guys over. So for right now, oh, do I, grab, I could grab like one of you. I'll grab these guys. Like I, I've got the population for you for right now, so let's grab those two units. We'll bring them back over this way. And then basically, well, well, why, why aren't you recovering? Do you not have the manpower in this area? Is that why? I can't recruit anything around here. Insufficient manpower. Okay, so it is the manpower around here. Um. Okay, so what we can do, just so I can recover those guys, is I can have uh, you come back up this way to try and grab those units, bring them down here, and then we can recover them down over this way. You're still recovering. Yeah, you're still recovering. It's the same... I think the, yeah, these guys are the same culture. I think that's why. It's focusing on you first as opposed to these guys. Well, it's, I know it's, it's per region, so I think that's why. Because you guys have... Yeah, you have a hell of a lot more. This one really doesn't? Oh, the manpower is tiny. Like, the amount... Why? What? How do I not have a manpower here? Constantinople has almost 400,000 people in it. What? Yeah, I need to get some more growth in this area. Alrighty, and here they are, the remnants of the Latin Empire. So we're gonna definitely want to try and deal with them. Got a new ranked gain. We got the edict issued. Yes, yeah, so they've started sieging me around here. Also, I just realized and remembered that I probably should make sure to check my family tree again, because I did lose you last time. I forgot to mention that. Uh, that this was, uh, looks like my older brother died here, which is not something I want. Also, family lineage-wise... Oh, Alexios, why'd you have to have an illegitimate kid? Dude! <laughs> Damn it. Well, he's got another son, at least. So, at least right now... I don't have any sons. All my sons are dead. <laughs> Come on. And so, at least you have kids. You're gonna be... You're my current heir, so we'll be able to continue the family line down this way if we have to. Um, I do want to try and marry off you to somebody. I don't know who right now, at least. Um, I think for right now, this is okay. We'll have to just try and figure out who we want you to try and marry. Because we yeah, have you just try and uh, arrange a marriage. Uh, do we want to have it so it's somebody in my... That's one of my governors. We could try and do that, actually. To try and continue control. But then also, like... Do we want to actually get any of these guys? I guess it depends if they have any good traits. Like, if any of you guys have any good traits. Respectful, loyal... Like, we could try and do that. Otherwise, we could do actual, like, political marriages. Like, I do need to check again at some point. Uh, Bulgaria. Also, I want to see, like, why you guys possibly broke their alliance with me. Religiously intolerant of another creed. Opportunist. Unreliable. Oh, that's probably the reason why they just broke that alliance there. Because we could try and see, like... Bulgaria. It's kind of a way to kind of like get into their um, kind of make a claim on why we're going to be going into their land at some point. Uh, am I able to try and... No, I don't see an opportunity to try and offer... Uh, trying to get a bride. At first we could kind of do the same thing. You don't like me. 
Papal States. <laughs> can I marry someone off from we the Papal are, States? Always, a welcoming host to you. I'll... No, at the moment. I think for right now, I don't mind... Uh... We could just raise up one of my nobles. Like, you're you're loyal. You've got some good traits. You're not loyal. Hell no. You're loyal. Anybody that's loyal and has good traits, I think I might grab. Uh, keen, uncompromising. He's also loyal. Uh, let's see. You've got some pretty good loyalty as well. Nope. You've got a bad trait. You are really loyal. Could grab you. You're a bit older, though. And then this guy doesn't like this. I honestly kind of think I uh, I want. I'm gonna actually try and have it. So, um, my wife or my my daughter. Sorry, my daughter. Jesus Christ. Um, I think I'm gonna have you try and marry him. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. It's not a bad match. I think it's okay. He's one of my governors, so also trying to give us some more power within our own family. Um, but what we do need to do is we need to try and take out these armies. Uh, you guys, I'm gonna have to fight both these battles because I don't want to lose any of my low health units. This one, yeah, you're just gonna run away. Uh, I can probably try and chase you down or maybe just ignore you. This one I'm definitely gonna have to fight, though. So this one we have to fight, unless they're just gonna back off again. They are, but they are still in my territory, so I am going to continue running them down. Because this army here is pretty beat up already. And for the most part now... That other army, I don't think, is going to all that, be all that bad either. So, we'll fight this ourselves just because I'm worried about you guys dying. So, we'll fight this ourselves. Push on in here. Get rid of these guys. I don't think the other army, uh, they don't have any other forces besides that one tiny little force. So, I think we should be okay here. This army here, I'm a little worried about the fact that I don't have a lot of cab at all. I have plenty of skirmishers, though. So, uh, our skirmishers and spearmen. So, this army, we'll focus on slaughtering them. Uh, they only have... Yeah, three units of infantry, three units of skirmishers, one javelin. I've got six skirmishers. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. We should slaughter these guys. And then I'm hoping... Basically, what I want to do is... We'll probably be sitting about a little bit trying to build up and uh, do the research to get Constantinople's garrison built up. Because I don't want to leave there until it is safe. So for right now, we can kind of just develop my lands, get ready for me to push into Anatolia, because I want to do that. I do want to try and have it so we maybe push into the room or the guys south of them. I'll try and get rid of this fog. There we go. Some spearmen. They're way the fuck over there, so we're just going to have to walk all the way over to them. So let's get you guys lined up, and then we'll listen to my speech before we make our way over ourselves. So there, there, and then you guys just kind of in the back, because I don't really want to use you, I don't want to lose you guys, but let's at least listen to the speech of what he has to say about the Latin Empire. Foreign scum! Why do they have to go to war against us? Do they never realize that they will die? That their wives and children will suffer in kind of slavery? Well, let's do it! Yeah, they're not they're not really foreigners, but uh, sure. Well, let's just let's just now start slowly making my way up here. So we just need to get in range, you guys, because I have number these guys by two to one odds right now. Alrighty, we're finally getting in range. They are starting to unload on us. I'm gonna have you guys try and cease fire. Uh, sorry, stop moving forward. Try and brace for this charge. There you go. Tried to brace, which you could. Uh, archers, you need to back up a little bit. So you two try and help out over here. Everybody else is trying to make their way in to deal with the cav. Push on in there, try and distract their skirmishers until my cab is able to get into position. You guys focus on these guys. Boost on the javelins. You kind of keep going for the, uh, well, yeah, you, you, you three focus on this cab. General's bodyguard, he'll go for the skirmishers. Let's see, you guys are losing that fight. There you go. Yeah, skirmishers just start unloading. You guys are doing okay. Yeah, this cab unit, get around the backside. Inside, you go for the crossbows. You three keep making your way up around this way. Keep making your way around here. There you go. So you can go for the crossbow militia. You two try and make your way to the general's bodyguard. Uh, pretty good charge from them, but I've got three of you guys to focus on him. Otherwise, let's see. You should be focusing over here. Okay, you try and hold here. Yeah, let them just be shot up on my archers. Just hold the spot right here. Good, good. These cabs just kind of hold back. Crossbows are dead. Keep going after them with my general. Their general's taking some good damage now. You kind of keep holding up. Pull back. Okay, general's bodyguard. They're bringing some of their horse archers back here. That's okay. Horse archers we can fight. 
spearmen. Yeah, get up here. You can keep fighting these guys. I hold them up in melee combat. I need to probably adjust you guys a little bit. Some of my archers can't get good shots. Let's kind of adjust you guys. There we go. So he's now dead. I'm expecting them to start breaking now at this point. So they've lost half of their army already. You guys keep trying to flank them there. Took a lot of damage on my infantry, but that's okay, I'd say. Try to focus on you guys. Cavalry. Yeah, you're almost done with their cav. All of you then focus on their archers. So it's just like these guys now at this point. Because archers, you're moving on up. You should be able to fire into these guys. They're winded. They're wavering. I think they'll shatter once I do enough damage to this crossbow militia. There we go. And these guys already withdrew once, so they should not be able to survive after this. Then there's only that one other tiny little army, which I don't think I'm going to have to worry too much about. Because ideally, that one's just going to take attrition. That one's just going to take attrition, that one will just slowly die, and we're not going to have to worry about them. So there we go. This should essentially be the end of the Latin Empire, basically. Because I know they're taking attrition every turn for their armies. And then we're just going to keep defending the areas that they used to control, build them up, and basically just wait. I have to wait at least 21 turns to get both research uh, things built up. I could demolish the one that is the other city that is uh, over here. I could demolish that if I really wanted to. I kind of want to, though. He's still somehow alive. Okay, that's fine. We're not going to chase them. We're not going to chase them. I'm just going to stay in Constantinople, keep watching over the city, as that's our, kind of our top priority. Oh, now you're recovering. Okay. Um, but yeah, character details. So you, since you're a governor, again, we want to try and get down to like this stuff first. So we're going to try and get down to this at some point, be able to get the movement range. And hopefully you won't die. Uh, this tradition here, we definitely need to get the replenishment. So get the replenishment there for the traditions. And then other than that right now, yeah, so we were able to break all of that and we killed... And then you guys have a new military tradition. There we go. Um, so yeah, no, I might now not have to worry about bringing you guys over there. Because I can have it so this guy... I think it was just glitched for some reason. Let's repair this stuff again. Peril of that. You guys should be okay. And again, just eight turns at least until we can get this. I don't know how long it takes. How long is it? Uh, well, I can't check this turn, right? It would take seven turns. So it takes seven turns once we get the research to be able to convert that building. Which isn't that bad. Okay, they just want to keep sieging these areas. Okay, so we have to finish them off in the same turn. So let's push on into you guys immediately. And then they are right over here. I'm going to want to fight this again just so I don't lose any units. Because otherwise, like, are we fine? I just don't want to lose units. Yeah, so let's let's just finish you off again. Like, just do one more fight here. Finish these guys off. And we'll have to chase the other army too into the uh, enemy lands. I think that's fine. Um, these armies are weak enough that I'm not too worried about that. They are slowly taking damage as well. So I could just keep pushing them back and they'll slowly die over time. But I want to finish them off sooner rather than later. So hopefully they're not going to be rush, uh, fo focusing on the entire other side of the map again. That way we'll be able to walk on up to them quickly. Get rid of them. Let's get rid of this rain, please. Please. Okay, dry. There we go. So they are uh, decently far away. So we'll just start the battle here. I'm not going to listen to the speech this time because I just want to get these guys dead. So let's just start making my way up here. Casually kind of start walking on up, guys. Right there and right there. And then we will deal with these forces as soon as we're in range. Alrighty, they are now in range. Let's now have it so my archers, you should be able to primarily do most of the damage here. Hold my cab kind of off to the side. For the most part, like, I'm not worried about what they've got here. Like, you two, focus on that archer back there. You two focus on this archer back here. Uh, you guys don't have enough range to hit him yet, so just kind of focus on... Oh, no, now he's moving up. Yeah, so move on in, shoot him. These guys will die pretty nicely. Cav, I think I'm going to have you guys go around the backside now, even though you're a little beat up. I'm going to have you guys make your way back here to focus on their militia and their skirmishers. Jones bodyguard. He's still alive. Let's surround him. So let's have you guys go here. Uh, archers, don't chase them. So you guys back up here. I'll have you guys just be the ones that focus on them. So like kind of run over here. All of my archers at least focus on finishing out this guy. But yeah, really focus on their Jonas bodyguard. Surround him. Cav, yeah, you're just shooting that guy. So let's have you finish off these skirmishers. Ignore this horse archer for right now. And just get everybody to surround their troops. Make sure they're not getting out of here. And there we go. The general's already running. Now we just need to get their uh, horse archers. Oh no, he rallied. 
He rallied. Okay, so let's go finish him off with my Cav. I basically need to get my archers in range to be able to finish off their horse archers. Like, infantry move up here. Enemy general's dead. And now they ran. Perfect. So hopefully that destroyed their army. And then we'll be able to have it so we don't have to worry about them. Yeah, because like only 20 guys survived. So now we'll have it so that Constantinople should be completely safe. We just have to deal with the other side, which maybe I'll be okay to just auto-resolve that. I just don't want to lose that one unit. That unit has a lot of experience, and I prefer to not lose them if I possibly could. But once they're dead, we just have time to basically focus on kind of consolidating a little bit. So they've pretty much lost everybody but that horse archer. Get some more punishment there. They are still somehow alive. Okay, well, maybe... No, if I, if I let them have any sort of avenue to get to Constantinople, they'll take it. So let's just go sit in Constantinople, and then I'm going to have you, because this army is... It's just four or five units. Yeah, so now we just need to find them. And I hope they're not too far away from me. Because I just want to... I don't want to piss off the forces of uh, Bulgaria. So let's hit you. Finish these guys off. And then the other one I'm just going to ignore. That army is literally just horse archers right now. So that force, if I get one turn, um, it should be fine. Although I'm going to hope maybe they just die of attrition. That's my hope. So we'll finish this army off. They have just, yeah, one skirmisher. I have most of my cav here. And so this is going to be pretty good to be able to deal with them. We'll slowly walk on up, kill these guys. And I'm hoping that we don't have to worry about them next turn. Otherwise, I can push them back again if we really need to. So I'll start deployment. And then I'll have my infantry. Again, you're going to kind of be in the back. I'm not going to have you rush on in here. I don't want to risk accidentally getting you killed. Get you guys there. Javelins. And then my cavalry kind of over here. Short to battle. And then let's move on up with everybody. But you, basically, you can just kind of chill there. Alrighty, we're close enough. I'm now going to start moving my forces up a little bit closer. So get you guys formed on up here. Archers start returning fire. My cav, at least. I'll have you guys rush on in here and see if... I think I only need, like, one of you guys. Actually, not my general. No, my general. We'll have somebody else to go try and hit these skirmishers. Everybody else, we're going to try and have focus on the general's bodyguard. So let's get you guys over around here. I'm going to try and surround them. Let you guys all keep fighting and running on into melee with us. So yeah, you do with the skirmishers. You guys will try and get into position so that we can actually focus on their general. Who at the moment is just running away. He is in range of my archers, though. Let's try and get a volley into him if you can. Yeah, let's finish off this skirmisher of theirs. He's charging in. Let's have you guys trying to brace that. Shield wall! That eh, helped out quite a bit. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, just hold them there for a second. Get my cav over here, and we're going to charge on in, hopefully fully surround them and slaughter these guys. Archers, uh, let's say you start focusing on this guy in the back here. Just hold my cav to form on up. Form on up, get a little bit closer. Okay, now start charging in here. Here. Definitely do not let them get away. Charge up here, here. Do not let him get out of there. There you go. Yeah, skirmishers, just unload into those infantry in the back there. And now everybody is trying... There we go. So the general, enemy general's dead. So now I'm expecting... Yep, they, they're all shattered there. There's some cav. Let's now pull you guys back. Yeah, so like you three actually kind of go over here. We can let my archers maybe just fully finish them off. Or we can get ready to try and do a charge here. So let's go there, there. You can kind of see. Because at the moment right now, they are freely just letting me shoot them. I'm not opposed to just sitting here and shooting them to death, because I just want to take no more casualties. Yeah, there we go. Like, one of them is trying. One of you is trying to get in melee, but you just can't. I'll just keep you guys in range of my javelins and my archers, and there we go. There we go. So, that is the last of the armies that should really matter for the forces of the Latin Empire. Now, we are just going to continue focusing on building ourselves up. Which... If I was still allied with Bulgaria, I would probably move out sooner. But because I'm no longer allied with them, I actually want to make sure that these areas are built up before we leave. I want to make sure they have garrisons um, before we leave here, because I don't know if they're going to try and attack me. It's entirely possible they could, so I'm hoping that we can avoid that. So it's a punishment there. You guys still have technically two units left, but I'm going to just go back into my city. And just ignore you guys, and you guys are taking attrition, so hopefully you just die this next turn. That's kind of my hope. Um, other than that right now, uh, you guys are still trying to get stuff here. I do want to prepare this. I still want to keep this as level 3. I don't want to demolish that before we have to. Uh, this one, did I not repair that? 
I was repairing that. I was just taking uh, several turns to repair, I guess. Ooh. You guys want me to pay you for this, but honestly, that's not a bad trade. I, I will accept that for right now. I, I will accept trading with you for now, Kingdom of Georgia. Latin Empire is back once again. So we have to deal with them once more, do another fight, just try and finish you guys off once and for all. They're trying so hard to continue to try and fight back. I'm surprised they haven't tried to grab any mercenaries, unless there's just like no mercenaries around this area. That could possibly be the reason why. Because um, if they did that, that could actually make it be a bit more of an issue. Uh, defamation uh, against me. We want to keep my control high. Also, I don't like... Let's see, you're one of my governors. You've got a lot of influence. I don't like that. Uh, we will, we'll pay him off. We'll try and silence him. Um, let's see, so we've been able to upgrade Crimea a little bit now. So you've got a higher live level city here. We now actually have a slightly better garrison, which I appreciate. Also, uh, going back... Uh, well, we have to be after that. Got that trade agreement there. No, because I was going to say, I do need to make my capital Constantinople. I think we can do that like once we finish you guys all off. Oh, they actually switched which armies where. Okay, so you've got the horse archers and they have the general's bodyguards again. How you do you have any more general's bodyguards do you guys have? Okay, because let's go up here. I'm, I don't trust the auto resolve again. Like with this guy being so low, I feel like you're just going to kill him. So let's rush on in here. Quickly slaughter the general. Is It's literally the only thing that matters. It's just two cab units. That's all that is here. Uh, you guys are being so stubborn and you don't want to die. I'm just going to use my cab for this army. I don't need to use anybody else. So I'll rush my cab over. Um, honestly, my other army wasn't so beat up. I do the same thing. Seeing as how the other army is just three infantry units and a general's bodyguard. That other army, I will need to use other people, though. So I think all of you guys, though, start the battle. Just rush on over there and let's just slaughter this one poor bastard. Yeah, so here they come. So let's charge them all, guys. Let's do this. Hopefully they don't just run away from me. I swear if you run again, I'm going to be so pissed. But, you know, charge on in here. Let's kill this guy. And then I am moving the rest of my forces up a little bit, just in case. Because, like, I know my skirmishers will have an easier time dealing with that horse archer. Because I might not be able to run them down. You're dying. There you go. Keep it up. We'll spam abilities on him as well to kind of help. He is dying slowly but surely. We've basically lost, like, nobody so far. He's losing decisively. Infantry's still slowly making their way up here. He's now dead and running. Okay, let's fully finish him off, and now hopefully we take out the horse archers too. Like, just run them up to the edge of the map, and then hopefully kill them. Because if we actually kill the unit, this entire army's dead. There we go. So, that should hopefully be all of them. There's seven guys left there. Just kill the entire army. Because now, I'm going to hope that it's finally fully dead. If not, I'm just going to run them down again. Because I want them to be dead. <laughs> Literally, it's taking half the video today to just try and finish these guys off. And I still have to do the other fight in the other side, too. To get rid of them. But at least this does give me time for that research. It gives me plenty of time for the research. Oh, did we finally kill the entire army? We did! There we go. So now I don't have to run to worry about you guys. So at least one side is secure. Uh, now we just have to worry about over here. Let's see, you're going to be pushed back. I just want you to leave me alone so I can build my shit back up. Now please. Please don't make me lose anything. You are so beat up compared to my army. Please let me do this without losing anybody. I lost one of my spearmen for no reason. Okay. But they are dead. I can just get another spearman. We can do that. So I know I was going to be sending you guys up this way to reinforce that. Just grab me a spearman. Just just grab me another one. Grab another one there. You're still sitting in the city here. And then I'll have it so what you can do is you also have a rank up again. So let's get you the movement range now. But at this point in time, hey, I have no enemies. I can help properly start trying to get into position to what I want to do. Which is push down here. Probably push into you guys first, I'd say. Take that city first. Then we can push into you guys after that. But I do want to start applying pressure to the forces in Anatolia. We've got a good amount of money, so like we've been able to develop my economy a bit more, I would say. Um, you guys are getting close to being able to grow this again. Um, I know I'm so hesitant to upgrade some of these areas just because the public order is not as high as I would like it to be in some regions. I know... I need more research so I can get these higher as well at some point. I'm kind of just saving my cash. Because I don't need to upgrade stuff right now. Like, I could get this to upgrade. 
I could get the library, because I do want the library. Food-wise, you guys don't have enough food for that, though. That's the issue. I don't have enough food for that. So we'll have to hold off until I can get a little bit more food around here. And, like, I know at least over here, I've still been able to fucking demolish that building there. Look, there's just nothing for me to build right now. Um, once I get this research, though, so we can just save up a bunch of money to get uh, strongholds and city upgrades. We can try and do that, because otherwise, everything else right now... Well, like, these we'll have to make sure we have enough food for, but, like, for the most part, some areas are pretty good on food. Uh, and not paying you for that. If I also don't go for the stuff in Anatolia, I could try and start pushing over towards uh, Egypt, too. Although I really feel like I should make sure the lands I'm conquering are all going to be connected to each other. Because otherwise, it'll probably be a bit difficult to try and maintain control over some of those areas. So I, I really do feel like we're going to want to continue, like, just slowly expanding out from where we're at. I'm not paying another grudge back, especially not to you guys, because you're probably going to be my next war target. So for right now... Uh, you guys are at war with each other. Peace. Yeah, so we've been able to slowly start demolishing this stuff, because, again, I need you. We need to demolish this fully. And then I need to get you guys uh, with some more food in this area. Uh, no, sanitation. Sanitation in this area. So we need to get sanitation in this area. You guys are just now properly being able to recover. Um, in two more turns, I'll be able to send you... Well, one more turn. One more turn, I can send you up there. It's only five more turns until we finish that research, so then we can start... Oh, actually, uh, you guys... Let's see, so this goes from 30 to 60... This area right now does have enough food, so I will actually have you guys upgrade the castle here. So you upgrade that castle there. That should be fine. Um, it's a little bit longer until you guys can grow that area. Same thing here. You guys are at least up to six now, so we just need to get up to plus nine, and then we'll be able to grow that area again. This one I should be able to grow next turn, so we can get another building. I would probably say um, a public order building. Yeah, a public order building. Actually, no, like um, a church. Um... Yeah, like, th like this might not be bad, or actually I think instead, uh, well, this one gives, uh, cons food consumption. What are you guys doing for food here? Oh, you're doing fine on food. I could probably get that. Yeah, gives me a bit more culture. That'd be fine. Also, we did finish up, uh, yeah, so we finished that construction around here at least now, so those are all been repaired. Um, also, Noble Birth! This is for Alexio, so at least, again, somebody on my family tree is at least now getting some family members on here. I'm a little upset that I haven't. Um, I have another daughter that's come of age. Um, you've got a pretty good trait here. I would say... Honestly, I kind of don't mind the idea of trying to... Yeah, like, the governors I've got, marry them into my family. So anybody that's loyal that has good traits. So you, I... Kind of want to. Oh, you've got plus 10. Let's see, you're 32. What is your trait again? I'd say you wouldn't be a bad person, so let's try and have you um, try and marry this guy. This guy's actually got too high. This actually, it, oh, it costs more to influence to marry him. Yeah, no, let's, let's let's have you marry him. Try and do that, and uh, we'll try and have it so that like this last daughter of mine, we maybe will not marry into some of my other nobles. Try and make it so we can kind of spread it out a little bit to see if there's anybody else around me that might be a good offer for that. Also. Now the Latin Empire is dead, let me now change my damn capital. So, this is actually going to be meeting me to run a script. Since in order to change your capital, the scripts will automatically save your game. Modify the next computer and then reload the campaign for modified save. If you're in legendary difficulty, you'll need to manually reload. So, this, so I will be right back. Ah, much better. Constantinople is now my capital. Beautiful. So, now we'll just have to continue trying to focus on trying to convert these walls. Which, we just need five more turns for this research, and then we can actually, it'll be 12 turns uh, total from now, basically, and then we'll be able to do that. I'm, I'm hoping that, like, once I at least get this one built up, I can have it so that uh, this second army, you can be the ones that stay around here, and have it so that I will take uh, my faction leader, and you'll be the one that'll start making your way down south to kind of start expanding down here. Because this garrison here, that's actually a pretty big garrison, Jesus, a lot of cav. A lot of cav, a lot of archers, not not a lot of infantry. So I think maybe if I go down there with just my faction leader, we might be okay. Otherwise, it would just be taking a lot longer to wait until everybody's happy, and then we can try and have it so we bring over uh, both these armies. Guys, I'm not accepting this. I'm about, I'm, I'm literally trying to marry her right now to somebody else. Uh, no. Also, I'm probably gonna be trying to declare war on you guys. Uh, I'm not paying for non-aggression pact. Nope. You're so we're not going to be doing that, especially with the fact... Like, if it's if it's a larger faction, 
that I am going to be declaring war at some point. I actually don't mind the idea of, like, trying to say, hey, oh, shit. I might actually have to go back up there first to actually to deal with you guys. I just don't want to, I don't want to lose Crimea. I don't want to lose Kaffa. Because, again, it's all roleplay reasons is why I want to make sure I keep onto that. Because technically I know it's, just, it's out of my range. We could just make my way over there. Uh, just cause or in impediment. Let's see. So... Uh, actually, you know, I'll do the Maria one. I'll have it so it should do the bribe. It's a Somebody has objected to the planned marriage. This dra dramatic turn of events must be rectified. So we will we'll do the bribe because Maria, we can. she can slowly get more influence over time. So I'll have her do that. My army here. Let's see. I need three more turns for that. I have most of my army. You'd probably start sieging next. That's a lot of horse archers. Um, actually, I could also just try and grab... Let's see. Merchant, attacker, administrator, attacker. I don't have a good general to just randomly have. Actually, uh, no. Let's see. Second wind, your merchant. I, I would say you. Let's try and raise an army here. I can recruit a little bit. I can grab... Ooh, actually. Ah, mercenary, mercenary Genoese crossbowmen. I'm going to grab those two. And let me just grab some spearmen around here. Let me see if I can... Okay, so I can get that. So I'm just going to have you sit up here with a tiny little army. That's primarily Cav. So if I get a lot of spearmen, I've already got a garrison that's decent. If I get enough men in here, we can hold that at bay. I am, I can, I, I am happy about that. So back over here. Again, we want to, for right now, have it so that you were going to be grabbing me, um, which is this one. Yeah, because we need sanitation in this area. We need sanitation in this area, so grab that. And then I know for you guys right now, slowly but surely building up there. This area just grew, so we can grab this upgrade. I would say, I kind of do want to get an Orthodox Chapel, possibly. Otherwise, I know somebody will be needing to be an area where I get the, like, weapon upgrades. I don't think it's going to be around here. Although, I could actually get this. This gives me public order, growth, and commerce, so I think we'll get that for right now. Because we can turn this, possibly, into a, um, into a library, possibly, yes, because we have that uh, population surplus. And then we now founded the Al Legacy of Alexander. I like that. So yeah, you guys stay there. You need to, again, drop off these guys over here. And then I will have you disband those troops as soon as you give them over. So there you go. And then you do not need to be a general anymore right now. Just to save us some cash. Honestly, yeah, this army's almost ready. It's just the fact that I need to get that conversion, which is going to be ready in four turns. I know I'm starting to get a lot of money, but I'm not going to just start accepting random things from people. Especially since we have such a focus on conquering everything around us. I, I'm more likely to use it, and I'm glad I at least grabbed those mercenaries. I think you're going to siege me, aren't you? Yeah. They're sieging me. Oh my god! What the hell? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, I'm going to have to like go up there and uh, try and liberate that area. If it's just the one army, kind of wish I would have been able to get some proper... Uh, actual recruitment there uh small pucks and calf awesome not only are we sieged we also have plague awesome okay so i yeah i'm gonna send you guys up this way so i'm gonna send you guys up to kaffa you've got a lot of spearmen so you'll be a good army to use that for and then i can just have it so that my king is going to be the one my emperor what am I talking about? My emperor shall be the one that kind of watches over Constantinople and tries to watch over these areas while we're getting everything ready in, uh, in, uh, for here. Bit of military investment. I'll to try and see if... Well, okay, we can try this also. I don't think this is likely, but how likely do you guys want to fuck off? My time is better Low. Spent hunting than listening. Even if I offered you money? I mean, I'm just going to generically see if I offered you everything I have, even still low, so no. So, we're not going to be able to get them to stop that. But what the fuck? Is it just all cav? I think it's all cavalry. So many cav units. Oh my god, look at this. 
Every single one is just a cav unit. Like, if I can build this army up and get a decent amount of spearmen in here, I think we could actually hold this decently well. But we need that. And also, I just needed, like, one more turn, and I can now grow this to get the defense building. So, hopefully you guys will be able to uh, liberate this city, and they don't bring all these other armies in just yet. Uh, Venice. Especially, you guys especially, I am not accepting a non-aggression pact from. No. You guys will be one of the first people I really want to make sure I kill when I have the ability to do so. But for right now, we gotta figure out how we're dealing with the Crimea. We might lose the territory. Uh, if we don't lose the territory and I'm able to continue maintaining hold over it, I'm basically just gonna have a third army over there. I'll have a third army up there using to being focused just on defense. What are they doing? They're bringing in more. Uh-huh. Do you need to bring in five armies? Okay, you're not bringing in five armies, you're just bringing in two. Still, what the f- oh, another one? They didn't attack. They're still sieging. You're sailing towards us, too. Um, okay, so they're not- they're not attacking right now. I don't know if that's any better, honestly. Especially since I kind of need the- a defensive battle to be able to really do the most out of this. I should... Be able to get you guys up here, though. So, we want to do... Oh my god, they have so many armies. Because, let's see. Because I want to be able to get in range. Technically, if I'm in range right here... I go in the port. So, I'm at least in range. I, I'm in the city, technically. So, if they attack here, I should have this force. I think they'll be disembarked first. Can I put you into this? Oh, I can! Oh, wait. Oh my god, I didn't realize that's a thing I can do. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see, I've got five more slots. Hell yeah! Oh, let's, let's give the one with uh, more experience. Come at me, bitches! <laughs> Try it! Yeah, no, I've got a reinforce. I've got a decent garrison here now. Like, I am okay them trying to attack me here. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I'm just going to bring you back. I'm going to bring you back this way now. You brought in reinforcements. You brought in some infantry reinforcements, which is exactly what we need. So now, assault this area. Try and assault this area when you have so many cab units and I have so many spear units. I think I can win that. So I'm okay with that. Um, you guys are at war with each other. Faction encountered. Construction report. So we finished that construction there. Uh, you guys, I would say, so, food-wise, right now you guys are at 45, so I could get the library. I could get the library. Also, um, see, is there any building here that gives food, technically? No, these all consume food. The meat market, what does the meat market get up to? So, it just gives, it, honest, wow, that's not a bad building. Public order, growth, and more money from husbandry. Which, technically... I wouldn't consider that one. Um, I think I might just get the library. Just give us more research rate, gives us some more culture, and I have the food. So I don't see an issue with that. So let's grab that. Another noble birth. Uh, another Again, Alexios. Alexios is the one that's really having a bunch of kids. So he's got a bunch of kids. Is it also the maxed out at like four kids? I think it's still maxed out at four kids. No, no five. I have five kids. I'm just wondering if I'm going to be able to have any more kids or not. Also, is there anything I want to do for like intrigue? Diminish popularity, assassinate, screw loyalty, adopt, invest funds, divorce, gather support. I, I probably should do some gather support, actually. Um, or maybe I can have it so that... You've got a lot of points. I want to make sure I don't have to use up too much of my stuff. So I think we'll... No, let's gather some support. Let's gather some support. Try and do that. All of these areas are good for right now. Uh, you're about to grow, though. Uh, wait, is it still for seven? No, I need nine, actually, right now for that city. So that'll take a little bit longer there, at least. I am not paying for that. Also, I'm more so waiting on seeing what the hell's going to happen here. Are you guys going to attack me? Moving armies, moving armies. Uh, backing off. Okay. I might be able to, like, sally out now, but I kind of... Are you guys walking all the way around to Constantinople with these armies? Oh my god. These raiders are going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. I mean, I hope they don't want to try and just walk all the way around to hit me. They might, honestly. 
question is, do I try and sally out, or do I try and siege and wait? There we go, gets more control. Hot Springs has been built up a little bit better here. I really like it. Yeah, because now you guys are doing better for um, the sanitation. Next turn, I'll be able to start getting that research. Press passing. Uh, that's... Okay, that's not there. No. Surplus in Crimea. Can't do anything. Um, I'm not taking attrition right now, which is good. So you guys right now... How many turns do we have for this? So tell me how many turns I have. Where is it? Because I want you guys to assault me. Because I don't think, like... That is just so much, Gab. Yeah, I, I need them to assault this area. Okay. Because it doesn't tell me how many turns I have left until they start. Oh, no, there is. So, three turns until I start running out of supplies. So, I can wait three turns. I'm just hoping you guys attack, like, this turn or next turn. Because I that's an army I should fight in like, on defensive. That will be suicide to try and go out of there and go on the offensive against those guys. But in the meantime, at least, I can kind of, like, at least make my way down here with you guys. I can try and grab more troops around here if I need to. To be able to try and go after them again. You guys have a little more power over here. I really kind of do want to also make Constantinople into, like, a military production facility, possibly, too. At some point, possibly. Because it's got such a massive population. Like, it's got a huge amount of people. Like, I, especially the fact that it's got, like, the that insanely large uh, nobility population. I definitely want to try and make sure I maybe take advantage of that at some point. Okay, and here they come. So they are going to be attacking us with this force. It's just all horse archers, so hopefully we can have a decent chance here. Um, let's see what kind of traits you guys have for yourself. Military force. Oh my god. Why do you guys get more ammunition? They have even more ammunition! Oh my god. This does not seem fair. Uh, let's see how we can do this. I, I have a decent army, though. I've got a decent amount of spearmen. If we get to fight them in melee, I think we'll be fine. That is at least how we should do, for the most part, given the fact that, hey, spear versus cav, that should do well. Uh, I might lose this area, especially just because of the fact that they have all their other armies that are also going to be trying to make their way on in here. So we'll see what we can do. If I have to, I will come back and reclaim Kaffa later. Because right now, at least, the fact that they had so many armies... And I can see why they have so many armies now. With that whole fact that they had the uh, co the Great Cons thing, so they've uh, reduced upkeep. Uh, it's like, oh, okay, so none of these armies you're paying for for at least five more turns. So uh, that's great. So we just need to make sure that we can kind of hold them at bay for now, at least. Trying to do what we can. And hopefully... Like, I'm hoping we can at least hold this. Because, like, Territor... Uh, hey, Fog! Actually, that's good for us. Them having less vision is good. So, what we're going to do... Towers are already destroyed over here. Uh, not what I want exactly. Okay, but what we're going to do is... So, I want to make sure that uh, they're either going to go for this gate or this gate. I have to let my skirmishers do some good damage to them on the walls. So, we'll kind of get you guys a little bit closer here. Uh, I'm going to put you right there. I'm going to have it so we can put my archers up on the walls. Because we want to make sure that what we do is we do as much damage as we can to them on the walls. Well, we can until they run out of ammunition. Or we can have it so that we can then basically fight them in melee. So, like, uh, you guys are going to be here and here. Javelins, I don't know where the hell I'm going to put you guys, actually. Um, I'll probably have you guys just maybe stay in the back right now. And then we just want to have it so... We put as many of my infantry units kind of just getting them ready to get kind of blob. Also, make sure you guys are all having spear wall active. Because that way, at least, we can try and reduce the amount of damage they're doing to me with their um, archers. So, ideally, I don't want to have to like, try and wait them out, but we can try and have it so what we do. Let's see, so I've got like, four of you guys over here. Five of you guys over here. Or maybe it should be like these five. So, you guys here... This one also go over here. And then just get set up, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and have it so the closer we can be, like, right here, the better, honestly. Because then I can just kind of... This is, like, the, oh, the one area I don't think they're going to be able to easily shoot into. So, kind of, like, right there. Spear wall active. Because that does help with missile block chance. So, I'm just going to do this with all these guys. So, let's do this. Let's see what we can do. Because I'm hoping that we can hold here against these forces. Let's get my speech here as well. Cannot set one foot inside the city. The Lord would 
never forgive us if the capital were violated by filthy This isn't our capital. Invaders. So, let's it's we fine. stand. Okay. We hold to arms. Yeah, let's hope we can do this, because this is a big-ass force, and they have more armies I could kind of join on in. Uh, I'm going to bring my lord here. Um, I actually want you... I'm going to go over this way. So let's see, so they're starting to try and unload on us. Archers try and return fire. Open up on into them, please. Do the best you can while we're on the walls here. Because ideally, what we can do is return fire on them, get them to kind of force their attention into the gates, and then they have to fight us in melee. Because that's what we're hoping on. I'm probably going to take a decent amount of damage from their fire, their shots. Hopefully my archers are able to do some good damage in return. Yeah, trying to break down the gates. Yeah, push on in here. I don't care if you guys... Oh, the gates are already damaged? Oh, shit. Okay, so they're already in here. You guys are holding nicely right here. Are they pushing into the other section too? They are pushing into both. This one... I don't know why the gates are just open immediately, but okay. That's exactly what I want. Why do you guys fire ridiculously fast? Holy shit. Because stats. What the fuck? Why is your rate of fire 160? What the hell? Why is your rate of fire almost six times that of mine? What the hell? Is that just the, like, Noble Cav one? Oh, yours is only 96. Why is your guys' rate of fire so much higher than mine? Like, I'm honestly wondering about that. Like, we're doing some good damage. Number-wise, so far, we've taken about 200 of theirs. We've lost about 200 of my own. Um, that's not bad. I know you're taking a lot of damage, primarily because, for some reason, the gate's open here, and they're just not running in. They're just shooting me. But at least my archers are able to return fire here. Uh, my general's bodyguard, I am actually going to... Yeah, I can bring you over this way. I'm hoping the fog is actually helping us out a bit by how it's affecting them. But I'm going to try and bring my Jones bodyguard over here. Try and get him into melee. Because I think he should do well in melee against them. And like, so far, this is doing okay. Bounce power-wise, yeah, I've lost about 300. They've lost about 300. If I can get them to focus their attention in melee, I think that's better for us. Right now, at least, though, uh, I can't do that. They just don't want to. But at least hey, I'm breaking them over here. General's bodyguard, yeah, you need to make your way back around right now. So I'm going to have you try and group up over here. We're going to have you try and get into melee with them if you possibly can. Because I feel like... Yeah, the good amount of damage. Yeah, 400 casualties. Yeah, keep running. Keep running back around over here. Because I'll have you just kind of yeah, loop back around. Let's try and go for this side first. See what damage we can do. These guys are almost out of ammo. Some of them are, at least. They're probably going to pull away from my general as soon as he gets over here. But it's at least worth a shot. We need to do something against these guys. I can't just let them sit here. This section is doing some good damage. Uh, why are you guys moving? Yeah, the catapults I also need to get rid of as well, if I possibly could. So it's either I get rid of the catapults or I get rid of the archers. And I kind of want to get rid of the catapults, actually. Because those guys might destroy my wall sections where my... Yep, like that. Where my guys are. And then they'll breach a section. And I need to make sure they don't just breach sections. Back up here, guys. Because I need to make sure if they're going to rush on in, it's going to be in areas where I've got troops. So, I definitely need to get rid of these catapults. Cav, uh, you guys are out of ammo. Oh, they actually, I can I can fight you. I can rush on in here. Uh, javelins, let's get you guys to kind of start making your way over this way now. Get a bit closer. Javelins, yeah, get back over there. This area is still holding. They're not advancing onto the walls right now, though, which is good. General, uh, you are losing this fight. No, now you're winning. Okay, so it's going back and forth. I outnumber them a decent amount right now. They only have 450 guys left. I need you to just to send most of these horse archers into melee right now. That's the thing I need. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So they broke my general's bodyguard. They just brought more guys over. Please don't kill him. Please let him get away. Because for the most part right now, we are holding. If I can keep holding like this, we can win. Because I am doing damage to them. Slowly but surely, they are being whittled down. Okay, the enemy general's dead, and they're now starting to try and rush on in here. So, at the moment right now, uh, I'm not opposed to them trying to rush on in in some sections. Because that just means they'll be shot at by towers more. Like, you guys are holding. Archers just keep doing what you can. They only have 300 guys right now. I've still got a decent chunk of my infantry right here. Uh, you guys have taken quite a bit of damage. Like, these, these are the ones that take the most. So, over here is where we really need to focus. This tower is still active. 
Get some of these spearmen to kind of come back down this way and help out. Because if we can hold this section, we can do this. Because bounce power-wise, yeah, they have less than 300 guys. I see my men did not break. So yeah, keep luring them over here. Uh, catapults, I need to deal with them possibly at some point. But uh, you're doing some good damage there. Javelins are holding. Spearmen, at least, yeah, if you guys pull back here, you can now slaughter these guys. So slaughter these three. They've just got this, those two, and these two. Yeah, that's it. So I think... I think we've got this. We just have to destroy these units. Which, javelins are losing, but that's fine. My spearmen will be the ones that win against them. We've got 170 guys right now. Most of their men are out of ammo. Um, it's just... Let's see, I'm gonna have you. You try and make your way over to those guys. You keep trying to focus on these guys here. There we go. Focus on this spearman now, on this uh, horse archer next. I'm just really hoping that that uh, ridiculous rate of fire is a fucking glitch, and that's not intended. Because, oh my god, that is disgusting if that is the intended rate of fire of these units. Because I don't know why the uh, horse archers... Actually, let me check something. It's your guys' rate of fire. Yeah, your guys' like, rate of fire is, like, normal. 20. But the horse archers, like, over 100 for some damn reason. Okay, it's just the catapults. It is only the catapults left. I hate that they've been getting some amazing shots right now. So, rushing up here. It's just these two guys. Let's get rid of them. Once they're dead, we've won the fight. Barely, but we've won. You guys at least aren't using yours right now. And you should drop your catapult in a second here. These things got some really good kills, didn't they? Let's see, 161 kills, uh, 110 kills. Yeah, you guys did a lot of damage to them. Oh my god, and they still have more armies around this area. I kind of hope I can convince them to give me a piece after this. I took out one army. I'm not going to be able to take out another one. Unless I did... If I lose all of my unit models... And I don't get a chance to recover... I'm not going to be able to easily defend this again. Because that battle... Wow. That was way tougher than I was expecting this to be. I was expecting to be able to do a lot more against these guys. And be able to save like... Oh, I don't know. Let's see. I lost 2,000 guys. God damn it. Pure victory there. I lost 1,700 men. You got 300 kills. Like, those are disgusting numbers for their, arch their horse archers. Um, I think everybody is dead, except for my skirmishers. I think, like, maybe, I think you five are fine. You're you're dead for sure. How, how, how is it? I lost one. I, I only lost one. Um, I'm going to take the replenishment. Because I desperately need it. And they're going to siege me again with another army. <laughs> yep. I can't win that. Uh, nope. I needed time. Uh, I'm going to lose Kaffa. I'm, I'm going to lose it. There's no way in hell I can see uh, hold that again. I'd have to, like, bring completely fresh units. But I... Ah, oh, goddamn. Like, I wonder if I could somehow convince them to give me a piece. I don't mind giving them a bunch of money to give me a piece right now. Like, please, I just want to keep Kafka. Kaffa. See, so I killed an enemy in battle. We barely won that fight. Uh, we finally finished that research. Oh, I spread that to, uh, I spread that to one of the enemy armies. That's at least something. Yeah, this army is just the same. Jesus Christ. Let's see. Can I convince you guys to give me peace? I warn you that I have no stomach for the meek. Let's All see. Nice. Likelihood high. Okay. Okay. Can I have it so I don't give literally 29k? Um. Oh my god. Do I have to give over 20,000? It's moderate with 23,000. Oh, this is so painful. It's, it's a guaranteed at 29,000. There's nobody I could convince them to be like... Hates rival empires, dislikes Turks. Expansionist, strength rank 3. I don't want to give them this much money, but I've also just been like gathering a bunch together. Let's see if... I'm gonna try that. 
Okay, if it's not that amount... I, I need peace. I don't want to give them this much money. It's 2026. God damn it. Well, they let me live. Fucking barely. Actually, uh, let me try and get that defensive building. I right, yeah, get that, please. And then, uh, whatever I can repair, we'll repair. Uh, it's not what I wanted, but it lets me survive for now. And I will ideally be able to recover my troops. I need to move you back in and out, I think. No, nope, my recovery is nothing right now for some reason. I don't know why. Small. Oh, it's just because of the smallpox. Okay, that that's why. So, yeah, just go back to uh, recruiting what you were grabbing. So, uh, hopefully they are going to uh, hold true to that uh, ceasefire. Because, oh my god, what the hell is with this? These guys are broken as hell. Like, is that just... The rate of fire is 53, 69. Why is your rate of fire so damn high? At your service. Okay, well, we should be That's okay for right now. Um, you need to get, yeah, the authority and, like, slowly get over to this. That's for the mercenary units there. Uh, which, surprisingly, those guys all survived. We just need the smallpox to go away here. And, uh, we can slowly try and recover around here. I still think that that re interrupts my replenishment, but... Okay, uh, that was not what I was expecting right now. Uh, I'll need to now save up money to be able to convert this. It's only 3,700, so honestly, next turn I'll be able to convert that into a metropolis. You'll actually have a garrison in that territory now. Um, I've got one unit because of just the general's bodyguard, and I think for today we'll be done for right now, as I am hoping this holds, and I'm going to have to figure out some way to deal with them better, because that was not a good fight. That, that was not. So I will be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts have on it in general? It was Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.